Hey everybody, Michael Knowles here. You know that pop culture music maven. My producer, Mr. Davies, has insisted that I maintain my tradition of reviewing every single NF song that has come out. Why? I don't, I don't exactly know. I, I don't know why Mr. Davies insists upon it since I listen to so little pop music. Maybe it's so that I've, I've reserved all of my, my music analysis powers and I can just totally laser focus them on what is now one of the biggest songs in the country. Currently number seven on trending YouTube music. So NF, take it away with Happy. Dear God, please Hear me out, I know it's been a couple years hmm. Musically, I like this a lot better than this other stuff. Reached out and said hello, I bet you're wondering Why I keep Obsessing on and stressing all the little things When I should Living life and soaking up the memory I know I've been selfish, I have no excuse to give you it's true Hanging by a thread's how I live I don't know why, but I feel more comfortable Living in my agony, watching my self-esteem go up in flames at Happy. I'm gonna pause there. Very insightful foible of humanity is sometimes the problem is not that we don't know what happiness is or what a virtuous life is or what we should do. Usually we know what we should do and usually we do know what would make us happy. But virtue and vice are habits and the more you do either of them, the harder those habits are to break. And when you engage in a habit long enough, it just becomes your identity and you can't divorce those actions from who you view yourself to be because we're incarnate creatures in time and space. And so what you do, it shapes and, and really constitutes who you are. So you look at it and you say, I know this would be a better way of life if I did this, that, or the other thing, but I just don't, that just isn't me. That just is, I'm just gonna be cynical. You see this with a lot of people who are always negative about everything and they just complain about everything, and they like it, they like complaining. They know it makes them miserable, but they just, that's just, that's just Jane's personality, is Jane's just always cynical and wry and sarcastic and complaining about everything. And so if you, if you stop doing those things, which make you miserable, well then who would you be? That's the fear, would I lose myself? This is the, the real pitfall of our modern culture that says you've gotta be authentic. People are, are t too obsessed with being authentic because you can be authentically miserable. Hi, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm miserable. <laughs> you get plenty of people who do all sorts of bad things. Well, if they do those bad things, they're being authentic to who they have been. If they break those bad habits, they're being inauthentic to who they have been. But the thing about habits is, the more you just do the good habits and not the bad habits, that's m more of who you're going to be, and then the authentic you is going to be the happier, better version. Y you shouldn't be per pursuing authenticity in as much as you shouldn't be pursuing yourself. A man wrapped up in himself makes a small package indeed. You've gotta be pursuing the good. And then your pursuit of the good is going to reshape who you are in a better way. It's going to build you up. We are what we worship. Keep going. Yeah, been this way so long, it feels like something's off when I'm not depressed. I got some issues that I won't address. I got some baggage I ain't open yet. I got some demons I should put to rest. I got some traumas that I can't forget. I got some phone calls I've been avoiding. Some family members I don't really connect with. Some things I said I wish I would have not let slip. Some hurtful words that never should have left my lips. Some bridges burn, I'm not ready to rebuild yet. Some insecurities I haven't dealt with yet. So I'll be the first to admit that I'm a lonely soul. And the last to admit, I need a hand to hold, losing hope, headed down a dangerous road. Strange, I know, but I feel most at home when I'm living in my. <laughs> I like that cigarette onto the birthday candle. Steam go up in flames, acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks when I know truthfully that that's the furthest thing from how I feel, but I'm too proud to open up and ask you. Pull me out this hole I'm trapped in The truth is I need help But I just 
just can't imagine who I'd be if I was happy. Don't know what's around. I don't know who I'd be if I was happy. Put put a pause there, because this clarifies something that I just said imprecisely. I just said we are what we worship, but obviously it's not literally to you. Don't become a one to one of what you worship, but you do become more like what you worship. He says, I can't imagine what I would be like if I was happy. It just, that, that happy, it seems so distant from him. It seems so foreign from him. You can't bridge that gulf. So if, if we wor worship God, we're not gonna become God. But it, there is something mysterious going on, and you see it written in the New Testament when, when St. Paul says, it is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. That we, we do become more like what we worship. And we, we do participate in some way. And we are participated in by what we worship. I mean, this is the, the, sim, the symbolism of the mystical body of Christ, the, the community of believers. The, I'm just talking about this from specifically a Christian perspective, but it's true of all the things that we worship. It's true even, you know, when, when people say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. It's a little bit of folk wisdom, and it's true. It's largely true. So he says, I can't imagine what I would, who I would be if I was happy. That just represents an anxiety and a servile fear. I don't want to lose myself. But why not? What are you holding on to? The people in this music video are miserable. They've got, there's some good stuff going on, but it's, it's all colored and discolored by this misery. Don't hold on so tightly to this miserable thing just because it's yours. If you let go of that, you, you can quite simply have something that's much better. Don't know what my future is, but I can't keep on living in. Living in my agony, watching my self-esteem go up in flames, acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks when I know truthfully that that's the furthest thing from how I feel but I'm too proud to open up and ask you to pick me up and pull me out this hole I'm trapped in the truth is I need help but I just can't imagine who I'd be if I was happy I was happy. Kind of ambiguous visuals going on because you're seeing these contradictory images coming up, which is even in the lyrics that he's saying, I can't imagine who I would be if I was happy. But then you do see these glimpses of happiness because you, you can imagine it somewhat. Maybe it's a little bit fuzzy, but you can. You have that, that intuition. So then the question is, do you have the courage to do it? Because to pursue that happiness is to give up what you currently possess, but what you currently possess isn't all that great. So go for it. I really, I, I like this song more than his other songs. One, because it's it's mu musically a little bit catchier, a little bit poppier, a little bit more melodic. As usual with his songs, there's, there's a lot of insight in it. A lot more insight than in a lot of pop music. Okay, that's it. If I was happy.